Seattle. Any lady guests can be met momentarily outside of the security checkpoint and have baggage on the guys made it to the hotel uh, here's the room nothing crazy but it's a free room uh, next morning about 6 in the morning 5 30 um, about to head to work and we'll get breakfast on the way to work some energy drinks uh, probably looking at a 10 12 hour day maybe more and I'm gonna take my camera to work and try and get a little bit of stuff not sure what I can record all right got here to Portland Got one engine installed. Looks good. A couple more things to install. We're swapping engines. I'll talk about it later from this aircraft to another. So there's the prop. Other prop over there. We got this one right here ready to go on the other aircraft. Yeah, this Portland hangar's nice. Clean. Might have to move to Portland soon, huh? Yeah. Almost there. There she is. All done up. Hopefully no leak. Get that Portland rain. Here's the one for tomorrow. This is where the uh, prop gets uh, mounted. You see a big old propeller. So that's the front. And then here's the tail. Yeah, here's your starter, starter generator. Igniter box, so like um, if you got coil packs, that'd be your igniter chip or whatever. These are all your fuel nozzles. You go around. EGT harness. Same shit as a car, pretty much. You got your oil pump, fuel pump, uh, throttle cable stuff. Yep. Just disconnect all the lines, just like an auto engine change, pretty much. Nothing different. Now let's see if it leaks it all. Oh, there we go. So he's starting number two first. That's not the one we changed. Number one is the one we changed. Fuel leaks. No, nothing leaks. Yeah. So they turned off the engine that we changed, and now they're doing uh, leak checks, make sure it's not leaking at arc or anything. All right. So first day went good. I'm in my hotel room now, sitting on the couch. Uh, probably gonna pass out soon. Pretty tired. Woke up early couldn't go back to sleep um, but the engine had no leaks ran up good and we're ready to start the next one tomorrow hopefully night shift actually installs it and then all we got to do is finish hooking it up and run it up making for a short day tomorrow and I'll get some time to explore Portland a little bit since I fly out Monday around noon it's always nice uh, when I go somewhere I go to do aircraft maintenance for the company and that's pretty much it but you know if things work out you get a bit, little bit of extra time in a new city to go explore that's always the best thing about being a traveling mechanic also it's not 
you know, my primary position. I work in the same place in the city every day, but every now and then there's, you know, they need extra help uh, other places and it's just fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy traveling while being paid. Uh, even though sometimes, you know, it's just work, work, hotel, work, hotel, and then flight back out. It's Sunday now, just woke up, showered, and slept okay. Uh, haven't heard any news on where Night Shift got on the engine change. So the reason we did the engine swap, so we swapped in one engine from one aircraft to another, and then the other engine back to this aircraft, is because there are three different models of the same engine, and the one air, both aircraft had two different models. They had the original and then the A model and the original obviously is the first design and it doesn't produce enough power um, so when they have one of those on the wings they're limited to a certain amount of weight but the other one uh, the A model uh, produces more power so what we're doing is we're putting both A models on one aircraft and then the both uh, original on the other aircraft that way we can have one aircraft that can carry a lot more weight and then the other aircraft carries the original weight that both of them are set at now and basically upgrade one aircraft and keep the other the same that's why I came out here a uh, good opportunity to come out and learn uh, I haven't changed one of these engines before I've done the I've done a Beechcraft 99 a Beechcraft 1900 Boeing 737 Max and the Boeing 707 or the Air Force KC-135. Those two, those last two, I've changed numerous engines on and could still change one today, no problem. But it's it's really simple doing the engine change. You do like three or four of them and you should be able to follow the book and not need someone to show you something. So yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and wait for my ride and then we'll go to 7-eleven or something to get some breakfast I don't know yet well it's gonna be a full day today they did not get it pinned so gotta put mount bolts on right there safety wire it and then put it up there pin it do everything all over again Oh well, forklift set up. Noise. Well, here we are. Got the engine stab prop right here. Ugh. Got the motor mounts in. There's the motor mount. We just gotta put the cotter pin in. Mount or torqued and safety wire bolts. Mounts up front. Back at the hotel. Nice sunny day in Portland. Today was a long day. I'm actually going to be staying an extra day now. Um, there was damage on the prop. And so we had to AOG ship apart. And they're going to be short. Two people who are going vacation. So they need an extra hand. Decided to stay and help them out. Make a few extra bucks. So tomorrow, just wake up with a positive mindset. Tonight we're going to get some dinner, some burgers, get a couple beers, and come back and get some good sleep. So see you guys tomorrow, or maybe later tonight if we end up going somewhere. Later. I washed my hands four times today. But we're done. Ready to fly back to Spokane later tonight. I'm actually gonna take off from right there. <laughs> Alright, so here's the second plane. Engine's all installed. It ended up taking about two days. Mostly because of the exhaust. It is a pain in the butt. I love ground level airports. Let's go, baby.